Dave! I'm glad you like the new hair. Uh, everybody has seemed to really respond to it very well. I was kind of worried, um, especially about, you know, Brandon liking it, because uh, he really loved my long hair, and uh, after considering it, he actually decided that he really liked it, and even though he loves me, he would not lie about that stuff, because um, he is blatantly honest, and he will tell me when something does not look good on me, um, because I'm the same way with him, uh, but I'm really happy that everybody's liked it really well. I was worried that, you know, people were not gonna, uh, my aunt, my aunt said, she said, you know what, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but it looks good, um, and everybody at work that likes it, likes it too. I, uh, had a, had a couple of things to tell you. I'm sorry that, uh, things keep kind of screwing you over when it comes to all your projects at school. Um, I know how that is. <laughs> um, all the drama at work has kind of passed. The last of the Ukrainians went home and, um, everything seems to be going back to normal. Um, we don't have very many workers right now because the, well, the last Uc of the Russians and Ukrainians went home. So I'm working 55 hours this week at minimum, and that's only if I work 10 hours on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I think it's going to be more than that, because I am I work 12 to close, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and me saying 10 hours each day is if I left at 10, and Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, and Sundays, we don't close till 11 or 12, um, so I probably will have more, but I'm... You know, that's good. It'll be a good check. I'll be really tired, but it'll it'll be a good check, uh, for sure. Um, I have a bit of good news. I don't know if I talked about this before, but, um, probably because it wasn't very concrete. My friends Mike and Elise, Elise, if you remember, was our leading lady in, um, one scene of our, our big project that we're doing right now. Uh, she's got huge boobs and she gets covered in blood, you know. That's what a horror film is. I, um, she and her friend, uh, and her fiancé are in a little, I don't know, it's a role-playing group, kind of like LARPs, a uh, live-action role-play. You basically run around and hit each other and pretend you're characters. Um, but theirs is pirate-themed, I think. Anyways, they do that every Friday night, and they said, Hey guys, you know, go over here to Elle's Flickr page and see the pictures of what we've been doing lately. And so... All their friends from that went over there and went, wow, this is really cool. And one of them runs a small convention um, here in Houston, and he extended an invitation to us to have a room to view, to premiere our trailer, um, a panel, and some other stuff too. And like at first I thought, wow, that's really cool. And it's really cool that all of that is basically based on my photos. But um, today Mike and Elise called me and they're like, Hey, when can you, Brandon, and Jack meet uh, meet such and such so y'all can start talking about having, you know, your trailer premiered? And I was like, Oh, um, I'm not the person to ask. Um, they're like, Well, is Friday good? And I'm like, Well, Friday is, I think, good for Jack and Brandon. But for me, there's no chance in hell. Uh, but if that works the best for everybody but me, my feelings will not be hurt if I don't, if I don't go. Yeah, I'll, I want to go because it's really exciting, but my feelings are not going to be hurt. And I told him that, and he's like, well, I want to try. What day is better for you? And I'm like, well, probably a Wednesday. And he goes, well, you mean like tomorrow? And I go, well, I get off of work at 5. And he goes, okay, I'll see if that works. And I said, and again, if it doesn't work for anybody, don't try and get everybody to bend to it. If if it works for everyone, then yay, I get to go. But if, if bending over backwards, you don't have to bend over backwards just to get me there. Because in my personal opinion, I'm not that important. Uh, yeah, I take the photos. And I do the makeup. And I deal with girl things. Like when we had to tape Elise's breasts... Um, in the duct tape so we can have the dummy of her, you know, that was between me and Mike, Mike, her fiancé, and me, a girl. So, and I did say, yay, I got second with Elise, but, you know, I was a girl, so it wasn't as big a deal. Um, 
And I was going to have to dye her hair too, but Jessica knows how to dye hair, so we let Jessica do that. Uh, basically, girl things go to girls. Okay, fine, whatever. And like, and, and we had a costume one time, and Brandon was like, yeah, and it's a little long, but Elle can hem it. And I'm like, Elle doesn't know how to sew. And I'm like, okay, well, you can hobo hem it. I don't care. And which basically meant I had to stitch it. I know how to stitch. I just don't know how to sew, like with the sewing machine. And, um, but he was full well ready for me to hem it, even though I didn't know how. Which is what actually happened when I learned to do the zombie makeup, or the bruise makeup, the wound makeup. Uh, and Brandon was like, okay, Elle, you're going to be our makeup person. And I go, all right. I know nothing about makeup. And he goes, that's okay, you'll learn. So, I'm their makeup person. But... I, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think I'm that important. I, I'm sometimes a sounding board, sometimes I'm a secretary, uh, and you know, I'm a makeup artist and photographer, and sometimes I run cameras. I'm very, I know how to do everything, but I don't think I'm that important in the long run, because, you know, I'm just the director's girlfriend. No big deal, right? Uh... But it's, I'm really kind of glad that Mike's, you know, wanting to get me there at least. Because, you know, I'm the reason that... Because that's the only thing of this project anybody's seen, the photos. Elle took the photos, so... But yeah, that's, that's the good news. Um, we might be doing that. And uh, next week, Brandon and I are looking at apartments! <laughs> I don't know if I said that in my... Uh, Blog. I actually don't think I did. Fr Brandon and I are moving out together. Yay! Um, we're not. We wanted to move out after the holidays, but his stepdad put um, their house on the market, so we might be moving sooner than that. But we're gonna look at apartments, and we're we're talking about what furniture we're gonna use, and and. my own place with my lover. Yay. Uh, but I think, I think that's all my news. Look at my short hair. Look at it. And my ponytail's over there. It's kind of creepy and surreal to see my ponytail away from me, but, uh, okay. <laughs>